Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to create Azure database for Postgres and how we can connect from using PZ admin. Rightly, uh, navigate to portal.azure.com and select Azure database for Postgres SQL Server. Here we have a create option. Click create. Okay. And now select the resource group where I need you need to deploy. Here in my case, I have selected Harsha test group and here I need to Harsha text demo here uh, i have given the name like this i am deploying the east region i am selecting the development edition okay and so you you can configure how many cpu ram that you want as per your configuration right now i am not selecting any availability zone right now i am uh, i am not selecting any high availability as well right here i am selecting only postgres authentication only now here i am selecting arsha and I am entering the password. Now select the networking part. Here I am selecting public access. Here I am I am adding add client IP or this one. I am selecting I am allowing the whole internet IP address. I am selecting here this one for temporarily. Okay. And now click on security. I am going with the, I am going with the service managed key as well. Next and click create now each deployment has been uh, going on okay once it is done okay uh, we will connect uh, we will see how we can connect using pz admin the deployment when success uh, here um, you can see the portal and everything here this is my full server name you just copy the name server name of postgres here come here uh, open the after opening the uh, pg admin right now i am using pg admin 4 version so right click on that click create uh, register uh, right uh, connect server no no not this one disconnect server here you uh, paste the name anything like that okay no no it is it not mandatory to uh, push anything right now click on connection give the paste the ip address here uh, give the username what you have mentioned at the while creating okay provide the username okay sometimes if you face any error before the username you can paste uh, at the date and you can mention the server name as well so as of now i'm i'm not facing anything so i'm just uh, facing uh, the username as it is and click save now i am successfully connected to the postgres database using pz admin so now uh, this is the default database if i want to create now you just refresh that that's it okay if i want to connect uh, if i want to create the uh, new database right click on the database click create new you type anything like test click save you might get an error like unrecognized configuration parameter now go to security definition here here uh, uh, here uh, you can select the template so the same template settings will get created uh, uh, applied to this database okay now save that's it okay it's already got created no problem now you just come here refresh now it will get like this now come refresh see it got created okay now see this is how we used to connect to azure sql postgres database now go to the uh, now go to the portal here we have a connect option click on that select the database for which you want to connect right now i want to connect to the postgres only select click yes see right now i am using 16 point uh, if you see 16.0 version okay it is connecting everything 
now see it is using psql command hyphen host this is server name this is the port name this is the database name this is user name and this is ssl now it is asking for password now click on that type the password that's it if the password will not visible press enter see now we have connected to the postgres server sql server using uh, like bash command in the azure portal so this is how we have different ways to connect to azure sql database i hope uh, you may like this video thank you